This chapter is called Churchification. Churchification. The church has aged. It's not the same. Most are older and less proactive. Less proactive. Some go to church out of habit. Some wear ashes out of habit. A lot depends on any seeds the parents planted. A seed dying to grow when watered and looked after, never to blossom. These days, the majority don't go to church as they feel capable of making all morality judgments on their own, like they are their own church. I'm going to re repeat it. These days, the majority don't go to church as they feel capable of making all morality judgments on their own. Being inside themselves, they are their own church. Peter, Paul, and Mary from the 60s sang a wonderful song, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Today I sing, Where Have All the Churches Gone? As many age, they diligently go to church, as if to check off a box. Traditional pulpits preach the gospel in an easy-to-digest way. Evangelical churches show new life, energy, and enthusiasm. The difference is night and day. Society has allowed politics to neuter morality and Christian values. Society has allowed politics to neuter morality and Christian values. We are one breath away from being labeled the racist religion cult. We are now the racist religion cult. In the old days, churches were proactive, raising the voice of injustice and the oppressed, confronting authority, confronting legislation, confronting crime, confronting racism. Churches did the labeling, and they made the evening news. 2,000 years ago, a humble man named Jesus walked from city to city, creating turmoil with truth and love, with truth and love. His apostles, a rough and curious mix, continued the walk. Yes, there were terrible distortions in the Middle Ages, and even more active denominations were formed to help carry on the gift of truth and the truth of Jesus, to help us find his spirit, his Holy Spirit. The United States was formed as a result of religious oppression. We were formed as a result of religious oppression and conformity in Europe. Freedom of religion was at the core of our birth and strength. Again, wisdom comes from Christ and serving others, not self. Serving others, not self. We've become a society that seeks only to serve self. Today our nation is reversing all she had accomplished by being passive about education in schools, where values and patriotism and history are no longer significant. In fact, they are viewed as impediments to the new importance of feelings, the new importance of feelings, opinions, the environment, and universal racism. Wisdom lost and vilified. The old are irrelevant. Assisted living is the new growth industry. Where have all the churches gone? Where the hell have all the churches gone? 